please welcome Bart Remis. Thank you very much. Who of you has a smartphone in their pocket? Who of you have a smart drone in their pocket? I have one. It's here. A very small drone which can do amazing things. Why do you want this kind of drones? Imagine that you had the bad luck in living in America and had these tornadoes over your house. The firemen were st stuck in the traffic jam and were not able to help you in time and could not give a nice overview of the situation. But they were able to send their drones already out and already try to see what the situation is over there. Or for instance, here in Germany, a project going on right now. Farmers want to cut their grass with a big machine, but in the grass, little bumbies are hidden, and they kill a lot of these. So the farmer wants a drone to inspect their land before they want to cut it. I'm Bart Hermes. I'm working at the Micro Air Vehicle Lab at TU Delft, and we're doing for 10 years already research on unmanned aerial vehicles. In the left top corner, you see hybrid UVs, which are a combination of fixed wings and rotorcraft. They can take off vertically and then do transition to normal horizontal flight, which is ideal for the farmer, which can cover a big area, but can take off and land wherever they want. We also do investigations on very small flying drones. This is the Delphi Micro, the smallest camera-equipped airplane in the world, and was in the Guinness Book of World Records in 2010. Also, flapping wing vehicles, which are a little bit bigger. This weighs 28 grams, the size of four A4 papers. That's the only weight needed to let this thing fly. Or planes that look like birds, just because we like it. The next step is to make this thing smaller. We want to fit them in everybody's pocket. Why? I don't know. Why did you need a smartphone before Facebook was there? You didn't know either until Facebook came up and you needed your smartphone and now you cannot live without it anymore. The same thing will happen with drones. To make this feasible, we made a very tiny, small autopilot. It's two by two centimeters, and everything here inside to need your drone fly completely autonomous. It has a barometer, it has a GPS, it has attitude sensors, and it only is two by two centimeters. And the nice thing, it's open source. So everybody of you, all the smart guys, can download the software, can download the hardware, and try to make crazy things like Facebook did for your smartphone. Now, I will also show that these small drones are able to fly. I will dive and hide, but I will come back. Always a challenge to uh, do a demo in real life. But I'm getting there. I have to select the right frequency so that you can see it on the stage. And now we are there. Oh. And one more time. 
Okay. So I first use this camera to show you how small these drones are. So this is you, and this is the complete autonomous system that will make this thing fly autonomously. Unfortunately, we are indoor, so I don't have GPS reception here. So today I have to demonstrate it with the remote control. But when I'm outdoor, I just have Google Maps, and I just click on Google Maps and say, go to that spot. For instance, my girlfriend has forgotten her key, and I just send the drone to my girlfriend and let it fly to bring in the key. Here you see a complete drone with brushless engines, with autopilot on top. It's eight centimeters. It can fly for eight minutes. And the same sensors are put in this small box here. If it's close to you, please wave. And who wants to see the backstage? <laughs> You're always wondering what's happening backstage. Now this drone can help you with this information. Next to this normal quadrotor, we also let us be inspired by nature. And this is the Delphi. It's a flapping drone. It weighs only four A4 sheet papers, so you don't have to be afraid of it if it's coming close towards you. It flaps with its wings. And because it's flapping with its wings, it's able to fly very slow, almost hover, and also can fly fast forward in big rooms. This one can already fly for 30 minutes. It's the same time that the big drones can fly right now, which you can buy in the shop. So technology is going on and going on. And to show you what will happen next is make these very tiny drones completely autonomous. This one is really hard to control, so if this one is coming towards you, you have to dive. <laughs> You see, if they're getting smaller, it's harder to control them. So, <laughs> you really have to make them autonomous. And this device will help to do that. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for this wonderful presentation. You can buy the little ones, can't you? Yeah, this one is now available in your shop. But like it's, I mentioned, it's, it's your technology, but you can order it. And you can order it. Uh, it's called Hubson. And uh, there are only very tiny sensors in there. So they need to improve it and make it completely autonomous so that people can use it from their smart, smartphone and say, go to that spot. Have to have one. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs>